Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on Delta Force. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and NVIDIA Parameter, and after that we will go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings, and we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is Game Bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again, capture, capture, make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode, honestly, is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's 4 gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radeon driver if you have a Radeon car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, if you want to see some stats, uh, your FPS and stuff like that, activate the show performance parameter. Me, I prefer to just 
use my MSI Afterburner with all my stats over there when I'm doing my testing. After that, we're going to go to the graphic option. A lot of stuff will be at auto. So I really recommend to choose manually what you are technically using. So display adapter, choose your video card. Make sure that you're playing full screen, super important. Make sure that you're playing native with your resolution. So depending on your monitor, if you have a 1440p, go with 1440p. Refresh rate also, select the uh, refresh rate of your monitor and select the aspect ratio of your monitor. I unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag possible. So that's why I'm at unlimited. I don't use V-Sync. I don't want to add any input lag. You can use other technology like FreeSync and G-Sync. I have a lot of uh, tiering, honestly, when I'm playing this game so uh free sync and g-sync can help you if you don't like that default fov uh, i like to play at 104 uh honestly if you're putting more fuv you're gonna lose fps so if you're struggling to run the game don't go too crazy with your fov and scope magnification you want to deactivate this one after that, we're going to go to the graphics. So for the graphic, I'm going to tell you which parameter will provide you the most of your FPS and also uh, the, the best visibility. It's a PvP game, so you want that. But also some people like to play with um, some parameter at high, very high or whatever because they just want their image to look good. So I'm going to show you which one is good. So first of all, weapon motion blur, deactivate this one. Reflection, you want to go with low. You're going to stabilize a lot your FPS. Texture filtering and texture over there. Honestly, if you have like 8 gig and more of VRAM, you can do extreme, uh, 6 gig ultra, 4 gig high, 3 gig medium, and less than 3 gig of VRAM on your GPU. Go with low and just, just follow the same step with texture over there. Ambient occlusion, you have a couple of options. I recommend to go with medium. Uh, the game looks very flat without it. If you're pure tri -art, pure FPS, pure visibility, deactivate it, but the game will look very flat. Particle, go with low, distortion low, uh, and by the way, particle will provide you a nice 8% boost in your FPS. This one is huge. Distortion, you don't want to use it for the visibility. Scene detail, I recommend to go with low and scene view distance. This one, high or even ultra, depending where you are in the game, you want a good view distance. So if you're struggling with your FPS, don't go too crazy with this one. After that, advanced graphic rendering scale, make sure that you're playing 100. You don't want to downscale and upscale. Depth of field, super important to deactivate this for uh, be better visibility. Global illumination, I recommend to go with low. You can expect 5% boost. Shader, honestly, you can run easily at high. After that, it's a bit tricky. You're going to lose like 2 to 3% for each bracket. So high is a good spot. Texture, you can definitely use the one that I told you with the VRAM. So depending on your uh, video card. Streaming go with I shadow and shadow map those one at low you can you will have 15 to 20 percent boost so this one is really huge post processing I recommend to go with low you're gonna have a nice four percent boost but honestly the game looks very blurry at I ultra extreme or ultimate so I don't recommend to use it volumetric fog go with low you can expect a nice eight percent boost and animation go with low you can expect three percent boost over there after that you have this super resolution. Uh, honestly, don't use the temporal super resolution. This one is pretty bad. Uh, last resort, you can use FSR if you have an AMD card. Honestly, uh, go with quality. You can expect 10% boost. It's not great, the implementation. If you have an NVIDIA card with RTX, for sure use the LSS. Don't use balance, performance, or auto. Go with quality straight up. You're going to get a nice 12% boost. And also make sure that you're using the NVIDIA Reflex. Uh, XESS is not bad, honestly, so definitely do some testing if you want to use it. I feel sometimes it's better than FSR, so again, a question of preference. And if not, just deactivate it. And uh, it honestly, I prefer to play at off than FSR too. So depending on your setup and how many FPS that you have, maybe you should just deactivate it. The last one is retracing. Uh, of course, deactivate this. It's going to tank your FPS like crazy. So this is pretty much it for my Delta Force guide. If you have any question, just come in, in the YouTube section. I will try to help you the best that I can. Make sure that you're writing me your CPU, GPU, and RAM. And that's about it, guys. Peace.